Next book I have is, what is this called? The next book I have Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with an unhaul video. I think I have around 16 or 17 books, I don't remember, and I'm too lazy to count, that I am going to be unhauling on my channel, or in my household. I get rid of any book that I rate 3.5 or lower, just because I don't have room on my shelf for this anymore, so if I don't like it that much, it's gotta go. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is Wrong Side of the Court by H.N. Khan. I literally just finished this yesterday, gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, found it super average. It did have a lot of discussion on racism, which I think was handled really well. I just wasn't all that invested in the characters. I'm never going to pick the book up again, so I figured it should go to somebody who will actually read it and really enjoy it rather than sit on my shelves for the rest of eternity. Next up, I have Elixir by Hilary Duff. This one I'm really upset about because I originally bought it because my girl Hilary Duff wrote it, but I think I gave it a 2.5. It just was not good. I don't want to say it was bad, but it just wasn't good. Like, the concept was really cool, but it definitely could have been executed a lot better. But yeah, I don't need it on my shelf anymore, so Hillary, gotta go. The next book I have is Beating Heart Baby by Leo Min. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars as well. It's just I don't need it on my shelf. I didn't love it, so I want to make room for books that I actually love. The next book I have is Just Breathe. This is by Cami McGovern. I gave this one a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It has the like love conquers all trope, which I am just not a fan of. So I don't want it on my shelf. I don't want it anywhere near me. Next book I have is How to Excavate a Heart. This is by Jake Maya Arlo. I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars. It's like a romance between these two females. I really wish I liked this more than I did solely because it features a corgi and corgis are my favorite dogs in the entire world. I want one so badly. So I wish I liked this more just so that I could keep it, but it was just a very average read for me, so it's gotta go. Next I have Camilla Knows Best by Farah Heron. I actually just won a Goodreads giveaway for the second book. And it's funny because I won this one as a Goodread giveaway as well. So I won both of the books in the duology from Goodreads. But again, just a very average read for me. It's a romance didn't really care for the characters, so found it hard to connect with them. The second book I actually am excited for because it follows a side character in this who I really liked, so I'm hoping that that one is a better experience for me. Next up is Confessed by Colleen Hoover. I actually own a lot of Colleen Hoover books, and I usually rate them anywhere between a 3 and a 5. I think I originally was going to rate this a 2.5, but I ended up really liking the ending, so I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. I am going to try to sell this because I know everybody loves Colleen Hoover here in Canada, so hopefully I can make like $5 off of this. We'll see though. The next book I have is A Wilderness of Stars by Shay Earnshaw. I was sent a finished copy of this, so I have not read it yet. Don't know if I enjoy it or not, but I don't need two copies of it. Next up, Tread of Angels by Rebecca Roanhorse. I read this, I think I gave it like a 2.5, maybe a 3. It's a very short fantasy novella. I just wish it was longer because the concept of the story seemed really cool, but I just could not connect to any of the characters because it was such a short book. It definitely had enough information in it to be a full-fledged novel, so why it was chosen to be a novella, I'm not really sure, but... It could be a really great full length, so yeah, I'd, Rebecca, keep it in mind, I guess. Next up is A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexander Rowland. This is another one I was sent a finished copy of, so we don't need two copies, so we're just getting rid of it. Have I read it yet? No. So again, cannot tell you if it's good or not. Next up, I have A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. I was sent two finished copies of this, and I'm not really sure why, but I obviously don't need two finished copies of a book, so we're getting rid of one. I also have not read this one either, but my mom read it and she said that she enjoyed it, so take that as you will. Next up is Take the Lead by Alexis Daria. This is another one I was sent two finished copies of, so again, don't need two of them, getting rid of one. The next book I have is The Murder Rule by Dervla McTierian. I read this a while ago, I gave it a three maybe a 3.5 I think a three and it's just one that I'm never gonna reread because it's a mystery thriller I know what the twist is now so I, I just 
don't think I will ever reread any thriller because yeah. of that reason. So. The next book I have is The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I read this, gave it a three, found it very, very, very average. The only reason I ended up giving it a three was because of how it tied up in the end because it was a hard like two for the majority of the read because I was so bored. It is such a slow paced book but the ending makes it come together pretty well so I bumped it up to a three. Next book I have is The Infinite Sea. I bought another copy of this because this one uh, the spine doesn't line up and it was driving me absolutely bonkers on my shelf because the, it just it doesn't it's not in the middle and it just oh I just couldn't handle it anymore. So there was a copy at my thrift store where you filled a like plastic bag and all the books that you could fill in this plastic bag was two dollars so I saw it and I was like okay we're gonna stuff it in. So we did and uh, now I have a pretty copy that actually lines up. And then the final book that I have is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I bought a hard copy of this book because I just love it so much and it was on sale for two dollars at my thrift store so I decided to snatch it up and obviously I don't need a hard cover and a soft cover so we're getting rid of the soft cover. Alright everybody so those are the books that I'm going to be unhauling this time around because your girl is running out of shelf space real quick. They're like triple stacked at this point so we need to get rid of at least a little bit so that we can make room for more because I have an addiction. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!